Hello and welcome back to the Bust Your Bookies show, the tennis edition. Well, in fact, uh, for this episode, it's half tennis, half soccer for you. So yeah, you've got the best of both worlds here. Uh, with the slightly limited action on the tennis front, we thought we'd uh, combine the soccer picks for this weekend with the tennis. So you've got four plays to look forward to this weekend. So fingers crossed we can have a, a sweep on the channel. Apologies for the uh, no video yesterday. We had uh, something pop up at short notice, so uh, we didn't have a video yesterday. Um, but we're back with the weekend's plays. On the uh, the Bet71 premium service, we had a slightly uh, disappointing day by our standards yesterday on Thursday. But uh, we bounced back really strongly today, which is good to see. Uh, I think we've only had one loss on the tennis, and I think we went one for one on the soccer. So I think it was about... Uh, five a five for two record or a six for two record on the bets today in the bet 71 premium service uh which is great to see and we're, we're confident of building on that heading into the weekend's plays with plenty of tennis and soccer action if you want to join us in the bet 71 premium service do click the link below uh to join us there it's just 9.99 a month in there as well as there being other offers uh slightly discounted if you want to sort of bulk in about three months or six months or a year in fact because we have had a couple of you Come and join us over there recently. So it'd be great to see even more of you uh, in there and to take advantage of some some nice value which we've taken. Also worth reminding you that if you comment 4-0 and, and like the video uh, and we do sweep on this card, we will give away a membership for a week uh, to one of you lucky viewers that have commented and liked. So no better incentive there to uh, potentially get a free week for you if we do sweep the card. And also, we do appreciate any support um, from the previous videos that you've liked and commented on as well. It doesn't go unnoticed. Also, in the description will be a link to our free Telegram, where you'll get a couple of our plays that we post um, sort of here and there. Might might post the other soccer play there over the weekend. And also a link to our Twitter, where we will be kicking up our bet roller again. Uh, so do look out for that as we post it on there mainly, as well as the premium service slightly after. So no better incentive to potentially, hopefully, get a nice winner on the bet roller because I think we got to bet five, I think, off the, off my memory, which was narrowly about one or two bets off our £500 target. So uh, do, do join us on that because that will be starting up again on the weekend. And also do remember to like and subscribe to the Bust Your Bookie channel. There are plenty of really nice uh, videos going out on the channel this week. And so do remember to keep the notifications on so you don't miss it as there's plenty of really good videos out there from from the rest of the tipsters that feature on this channel and yeah so as i said earlier we've got four plays coming up for you today so the first two plays are going to be tennis and then the last two plays are going to be football slash or american viewers will know it as soccer so uh yeah so fingers crossed we can have a nice sweep on the mixed events this weekend uh, we're confident on these bets uh, which they've all been tipped in the bet 71 premium service but again once again this is only a fraction of our plays so there's plenty more in the uh in the bet 71 premium service so do join us over there if you can and yeah i'll kick us off with the first of the plays so we are heading over to challenger valencia which has been a tournament that we've uh we've done very well in this week which is good to see we're confident of building on that once again here. So we are taking Martinez Moneyline against Galan. So this is a 10 a.m. Central Time start on this match. And yeah, Martinez, he's um he's playing at home in Spain this week, which is always important with the home crowd behind you. And he impressed us today as he won in straight sets against Buse, who uh who can be dangerous on this clay surface. And this that Martinez money line did land today, which was a bet in our premium service. Um, and he hasn't dropped a set in this tournament at all this week. And given that he's played a lot of tennis on the ATP Tour in the last few years, he's going to have the edge over Galan here, you'd like to think. Galan hasn't been all that convincing in recent months in particular, uh, with plenty of inconsistent results. And he hasn't really come up against a player of Martinez's quality on this surface, as well as coming up against a, a home favourite here. So it's going to be a tricky test for the world number 127 as he comes up against a player that's ranked uh, world number 45. So there's a bit of a gap there in the uh, world rankings and we're expecting Martinez's quality in, at home on his favoured surface to sort of show through here. So yeah, nice and simple with this first play of the day. It's Pedro Martinez money line against Daniel Gallan. And sticking with the tennis, we are heading to Sweden for this one, a new tournament which is coming up for this week. So uh, do keep an eye out for that one as we'll be tipping plenty from it. So this is from ATP Stockholm Qualifying. And we are taking Richard Moneyline against Holmgren. 
So Richard has got five wins and four losses to his name on indoor courts this season. And given that he's had a week's rest after winning a clay tournament in Lisbon uh, a couple of weeks ago, we're backing him to pick up where he left off here uh, this week, which should be a relatively comfortable result for him. He looks really good in that clay um, that clay tournament win in, over in Portugal last week. And he's hoping that he's going to go from strength to strength. Here. And he's got the ideal opportunity to pick up a win on indoor courts as he's up against Holmgren, who's lost five of his last six, which is sort of it's petering, out, petering out to a disappointing uh, year as he previously had a really nice little run over the summer of consecutive wins, but he's sort of struggling for any sort of momentum on indoor courts as well. He's only got one win and three losses on this surface this season. And we'd like to think if Richard is anywhere near his best, uh, which we've seen from him in recent weeks, he should have more than enough quality to progress to the next round of qualifying here. So yeah, again, nice and simple with that second player of the day. It's Richard Moneyline against Holmgren. And so over to our third play of the day. As we said, these final two tips will be in the soccer. So if you do, we tip plenty of soccer bets uh, and they've been really good for us in the Bet71 premium service and since we've tracked it. So uh, we're going to kick on here and hopefully provide you with two winners from there as well for the weekend. So the first of this, the first of these matches is from English League Two and it's a 9 a.m. Central Time start for these. And the first one is a Barrow to win to nil against Morecambe. This is also known as Barrow to win and both teams to score no. Might be this word is slightly different with different betting sites. But yeah, Barrow to win and Morecambe not to score is what we're backing here. So Barrow are third in the League Two table. And after their opening 10 matches of the season, they've looked really, really good. They've only conceded seven goals, which is the third best defensive record in the division, uh, which is a big old division, which is uh, good to see they're keeping out plenty of goals. They're brilliant at home and have got the best home record with four wins from five. And considering they drew the other match, so they're still unbeaten at home this season. And they're up against the Morecambe side that have had a completely opposite uh, end of the season so far. They're bottom of the table with zero wins from their first 10 matches as well as only having one single point to their name from their five away matches so far this season. They've also only managed to score three away goals in League Two this season. So Barrow have got the potential to, to run, riot, hit, run riot here if they're anywhere near their best. And we're really expecting a comfortable win here for the home side. Um, again, if they're anywhere near their best, Morecambe are struggling off the field and on the pitch at the moment this season and Barrow are hitting a nice run of form at the start of the season. So, yeah, Barrow to win to nil against Morecambe is our third play of the day. And over to sticking with League 2, in fact, we are heading to the Gillingham versus Accrington Stanley match. So this is, again, is a 9 a.m. Central Time start on Saturday, and we are doing Gillingham to win versus Accrington Stanley, or Gillingham money lines, still the same bet. So Gillingham have been equally as impressive this season as Barrow in the last bet. And they are, they've won four of their five home matches this season, Gillingham have. And they're a strong side that are, are predicted to challenge for promotion into League One this season. And if they can continue to perform strongly at their home stadium, then they have a brilliant chance of achieving that. Should dominate proceedings as well from the first whistle here on Saturday against the Accrington Stanley side that have lost all four of their away matches this season, which means they are bottom in terms of the form of the away form. And they're also second bottom overall in the table. So they're, they're slightly OK at home, but away from home, Accrington Stanley are really struggling at the moment. And it really doesn't get any easier for them against the Gillingham side that are flying on all fronts, even though they have they were beaten last game. But they've uh, they weren't at their, be at their best level and they'll know that. And they've uh, they've got the ideal opportunity here to sort of get back to winning ways rather comfortably. So, yeah, nice and simple with that fourth and final play for Saturday. It's Gillingham to win versus Accrington Stanley. And so that wraps up our four plays for Saturday and the weekend. Fingers crossed we can have a sweep. So do remember to like and comment 4-0. Give us the good vibes heading into the weekend. And hopefully we'll be looking to give away a spot in the Bet71 premium service for a free week uh, if, if we do sweep the card. And also, if you want to join us in there just for $9.99 a month, nice and cheap, uh, do click the link in the description to join us over there where you can get access to all of our plays. And yeah, fingers crossed, we hit the sweep and we will see you in the next one.